So we had the JVC, and uh, so you just shot an interview with this camera. You're using the. Since when do you have this? I've had this for probably three months, I would guess. And where do you post the video? MovieMachine.tv. So what do you think about this camera? I think it's great. I use it a lot. And the reason I like it is because it's small, it's light, it's 4K. And I don't need 4K for 4K, but I need 4K so that in my HD work, I can zoom in and out on the image. Now, some people say you should shoot it right to begin with, and maybe that's right. But when you're one guy, and you're your cinematographer, sound guy, lighting guy, you've got a lot to think about. So more flexibility in post is a big deal. And this camera, as I'm sure many of you know, records onto the affordable media, which is great. You can get a lot of, I mean, this is a 50 pound card, and I think it's it's, 200, it's 128 gig, which I believe is 112 minutes of 4K. That's why I like it, because it's good quality and it's got a lot of potential in terms of feature set. So it does what I need. Cool. So hello. So who are you? Hi, I'm Gustav uh, from GBC and a product manager for uh, GBC Camera Europe for the professional department. So this is a new camera for a few months. You've been uh, been out. So uh, what are we looking at here? This is the GY LS300. This is uh, developed uh, and featured with our own super 35mm sensor. And this camera, maybe I turn it around for you that you have... Can we open it up? Can we look at the sensor? Oh, you can see, look to the feature size. Yeah, no problem at all. So I there's a 35mm sensor on the 4K handheld. Which is uh, kind of crazy, no? Yeah. Nobody's done this before? No, we, we, we have a special idea for that one. Uh, the, the reason for that one, when you look into our camera section, this is our standard video camera, you see you have almost this is the, the 200, same. Right? This is a 200, almost the same form, uh, form factor. Our idea was we have a lot of requests from the people say, well, you know, we do video shooting. Not, not only only kind of cinema shooting, we do video shooting and we like to have the typical booky effects, you know, the cinema style with the focusing and, and so on. And we were thinking what how we do the, the design of the camera. Do it with like a typical DLSR format or we do it more like a handheld. And we're coming from the video section and say why is a good idea to make the camera like a normal video camera but give him the feature as a, as a normal DSLR functions you have and that's why we're coming to this kind of form function. So, uh, how big, how heavy is this? Ah, that's difficult to explain, it's about to, to yourself. Well, it's, about, it's about what I have mentioned, the kilograms here somewhere. Right. Normally, uh, this is a, nobody asked me about how much yeah. the weight is. But it's, uh, this is depending on the similar, lens. Similar to here? Yeah, same, same weight. And yeah. then, so uh, about about uh, two and a half kilos. So you can put all kinds of lenses on it? You are showing a bunch of lenses up there? Uh, this is a, you see a lot of lenses. I can use uh, them all, which is there. <laughs> but it's very, very tricky when you look to the front area. What you see is a super 35 millimeter sensor. But this area which we have here is a MFT mount. And this is, must be very clearly for the customer to understand. You have MFT mount, but you use a super 35 millimeter sensor. So you can use a full format optics. Like for example, this... What is this one? This is a, this is a full format lens. And this is a, a very dedicated uh, size lens, very expensive lens here in front. Or I can do a Leica lens yes. or a Canon lens, EF mount, etc. Okay, hold on. So, yeah, you have to do it carefully, right? Oh, okay, so we go. And so, how's the quality going to be with this? Ah, excellent. What you can await from a super 35 millimeter sensor, in, in case you're doing that. And there's a, you know, we have a reason to use an MFT mount. What is also very unique when you see the bottom here, we have a built-in ND filter, which is also not usual. So if you're on the tour, you not have to purchase uh, special ND filters as long you not want to do something special. So there are ND filters already built in. With this MFT mount, and when I show it to you, with this MFT mount, because MFT gives us for the focal length, the plane, the focal plane, the option to use, like here, a Metabones adapter to EF, or we can use here an PL adapter. This is a, 
a, a, a, a lens which already has MFT mount. This is a converter, EF mount to MFT, and this is PL to MFT. This gives us the, the, the possibilities to use a bunch of lenses which you already have seen here on top. We can even have the huge lens over there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sure. That's a So, so, so what is that uh, lens over there, the, the big one over there? The big one is a PL mounted lens, it's a, it's a size uh, uh, zoom lens, manual zoom lens. Alright, so it encodes in 150 megabit 4K? 100 is, is, uh, the maximum uh, frame rate is 30p, from 24 to 30p. Yeah. And uh, it records in uh, 150 megabit, it's a variable bit rate. And to do the recording, and this is another very important point for the camera, when we turn it around, you have two slots. We not want to use any dedicated recording format, so we want to use standard RSI SD cards, for example, which you see here from the, from the uh, SanDisk, for example. Yeah. Uh, in case you do the 4K recording, you need UHS-1, U3 memory cards for the recording capability. But you can use the simplest one. It should be a quality company like, like Sundis or any other brand. And you can use that here into the slots. Gives you hours of hours to record 4K recording. So the megabits can go to 150 megabits? 150 megabits. And there's also a 70 megabit uh, 4K? A, that will be, uh, come with the new firmware. The 70 megabit gives the customer the choice when he's somewhere in the world and he not get, get the UHS-1 card U3 cards, he can use a normal standard class 10 SD card. So, and then you switch to 70 megabit and it allows you to record uh, 4K with 70 megabit. Of course, the quality gets, uh, of course, a little bit down, but still in an acceptable value. H264, isn't it? H264, H264 yeah. yes, correct. And uh, what are the other new things in new firmware? Is a lot of new things or no? There's a lot, lots of few things. For the streaming, you know, this is not only uh, a super 35 millimeter camera, it has a full IP functionality. Zoom, uh, um, you have the live streaming, you have the FTP transfer with FTP resume, you have a full RCU remote controller, so like a, like a real studio controller, it's everything built is in. Is it Wi-Fi or how does it connect? The Wi-Fi is, you know, we don't, we, we don't want to use built-in Wi-Fi because you take the camera and you handle and you block all the systems. We have here a USB host. And okay. the USB host is, is used for Wi-Fi dongle or you can use a CAT45 uh, cable. And we can stream up to 12 megabit, for example, if you have a wired cable. Yeah, we can use also 3G or LTE dongles on that one. Upload and can, directly to the internet and go directly to the stream. So can it's, you can it, you have two encodes at the same time? You can record 4K and no, not 4K screaming. Okay. If you want to do IP functionality, then maximum you can do HD recording, and you can use the IP streaming. So streaming and recording is fully independent as in that case. So you record HD up to 50p or 60p. Uh, full frame progressive in yeah. HD and, and the USB host is a list of, of hardware that works. Yes, or correct. All of them? There's a bunch of lists. Bunch of, of them that works. Bunch of bunch of lists. Yeah. All right. And uh, battery life is good. The battery life. You have different options for the battery. You have also an extension battery. Gives you also a, a, a lot of hours to run with the battery. All right. So uh, I guess the camera enthusiasts are quite excited about this oh, around sure. the world. Sure. Sure. This yeah. is special. Yeah, so it's, did JVC it's, 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 acquire this technology from a company to do a 35 millimeter so small? Or how does it no, work? it's our own company. So you made a just yes. a huge yeah. sensor. Yeah. And affordable price. What's the price? The price uh, for that one. I'll say stop at the moment. I'll give you the exact price yeah. because we have a change for that. It changes every day. Yeah. Right. Yeah, maybe. Three, yeah. Okay. Three hundred eighty fifty. Yeah. Three thousand eight hundred. Yeah. Three thousand eight hundred. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's just Frank, so something yeah. around that, right? And two audio inputs? We have two professional audio with a phantom power. We have uh, um, a lot of uh, support for the audio, like wind cut, uh, limiters, etc. We have also cinema style recording stuff. We have a new GVC lock with 800% dynamic range. 
And a very, very clear. Is it touch or not? Me, no, no, it's not touch panel. So everything is through. Everything the goes exactly by by that unit. Yeah. Right. And all the buttons which we have here, which is marked with the numbers, here with the numbers, the bottoms, or example here the bottoms, you can select freely with your own functions. Shortcuts. So you can do shortcuts exactly. All right.